high in this experiment we put a LED in a dark tube and we measure the amount of light on the other side. We are using LDR light pendant resistor as sensor. The connections are as simple as possible. Notice that our set point is 990. Let's change our set point to half the scale to see what happens. Oops, it seems that the system got lost a bit. There is great instability. We will switch back to 950 and see if the system stabilizes. We turn off the light so you can better understand the changes in the light emission. We have two both hands for this purpose. Confirming the instability to 650 and returning to the past settings. The idea here is to show that we have an analog measurement with input in the PID formula. Now let's go for a more complex experiment. The idea is simple, yet we have an exhaust fan running in a range of 1500 to 3500 revolution per minute and we will deliver this measure so the PID library does the calculation and return the correct value. Realize that the system searches the desired value in the case at 3000 RPM. We will initialize modify 2900 RPM and see what happens. Let's lower even more 2000 RPM. Realize great instability in the system. Increasing to 2500, the system gets lost. The stability is great. We would have to do new calculation with the PID variable, but let's go to 3000 RPM on the scale of 0 to 1023. Note that we are using the calculation for P proportional and I integral, and we do not make the variable D the reason. Realize that the system takes too long to reach the goal of 3400 RPM. Let's wait. Oops, it seems that it will not achieve. Let's slightly modify the system, removing the cover to insert a small disturbance. Simple disturbance is detected by the graph. We will move 3 to 0, 0 RPM, which seems to be the ideal settings for this plane. The beauty of this system is that we can control the exhaust fan more precisely. Imagine having to calculate these values with a potentiometer would be very difficult have to have a hand of surgeons precise. Although our system is more complex than the first one, the thinking is the same. We set a measure to the library and receive the calculated amount. This value we send to the entrance of the MOSFET that controls the speed of the motor easy again. In any output PWM returned by PID function calculator. 
15. The rest is having fun with the system. Thanks for watching. Visit our page. I hope you enjoy it. Please give new suggestions for the channel. Until next time. Bye.